in this one what i'm going to do is really mark out the outline for the windows and the doors for the front elevation so let's get started so to begin i'm going to switch off the visibility of the first floor plan and press 7 for top view what i want to do really is just make a copy of the outer section here the walls and the windows so with those selected i'm going to press shift d to make a copy and just right click and i'm going to move these to the ground floor layer up here so if i just move the selected objects i'm going to switch off the visibility of the ground floor and i'm also going to combine these so with them selected i'm going to press ctrl j and i'm going to tab into edit mode so what i want to do is get some positions for the elevation so i'm going to select the end point here the end vert on both sides i'm also going to select the window thickness here and where it begins okay i'm also going to select the garage door both sides and the main door and also the the window here and i'm just going to zoom in here and also this position here and i think that might do for the moment so with those selected i'm going to press shift d to make a copy just right click and i'm going to press p for the separate menu and choose selection so now i'm going to tab back to object mode and just try and select that section we separated which is just that straight line so with that selected i'm going to tab into edit mode and i'm going to connect these up so i'm going to select the first two and press f select the next two press f the next ones and so on and just basically create a straight line along this edge here some of these have a straight edge already so i don't need to connect them again so if i press a once or twice i can see what's missing so these two here need to be filled and just in case i did double up i'm going to press a once or twice press w and remove any doubles and you can see up here we don't have any doubled up vertices so i'm going to press one for front view and what i'd like to do is extrude this up to the base of my window height which in this case is going to be 520 so i'm going to press e and z to restrict it to the z axis and just type in 0.52 and press enter and i'm going to extrude this up then the rest of the, the way to 2700 for the moment to incorporate the the entire ground floor okay so with that i'm going to press e z again to restrict it and this time it's going to be 2.180 and press enter and we can double check the height there with if i select these two verts and get a segment i can show that and i have 2.7 okay i'm just going to x that dimension just press a to deselect i'm going to press z now for solid shading and you can see we have a couple of faces pointing in the wrong direction you notice that by the shading so i'm going to press a once or twice select all the faces and press ctrl n to recalculate the normals okay and they're they're now fine so if i just deselect them i'm going to press z and come back to wireframe what i'd like to do is extrude this up again to the actual ceiling height so i'm going to alt select this entire edge here press e press z to restrict it and press 2.7 okay and that is the full height including the including the roof so what i might do is press ctrl r and just insert an edge loop and for this i'm going to zoom in over here i want this to be 300 so i'm going to get a segment i can alt select this entire edge i can just zoom out to make sure it's selected okay i can press g z and just drag this up up to 300 okay i'm also going to put an edge loop in here for the height of the doors and the windows so i'm just going to press ctrl r add an edge loop I can zoom in here select the two vertices here get a segment i can alt select this edge here press g z and bring this down to 2.28 and left click okay so i'm going to just come press and hold the middle mouse button just to come around there and what i'd like to do is just select the door openings for the moment so i'm going to switch to face selection with control tab select face i'm going to select these faces here so this is going to represent my garage door so with this selected i'm going to press p and choose separate by selection 
going to select the main doorway. With this selected, I'm going to press P and choose separate by selection. What we can do is set up the, the windows. So, so I'm going to select this face here, which is the first window. So with this one selected first, I'm going to press P, choose selection. I'm going to select these two and these two, press P and choose selection. Sometimes when you separate objects, the dimensions that were connected can become a little bit corrupted. So I'm going to delete those two. Okay, there's another size I want to put in here. So I'm going to press Control R, add an edge loop up here. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to switch to vertex selection. Select these two verts here, get a segment. I'm going to Alt select this one here, press G and Z and drag this up to 0.5, left click. Okay, so I'm going to come back to object mode very quickly. And what I'm going to do actually is switch back on the first floor plan because I need to snap some of the top edges to these positions. So with this selected, I'm going to tab into edit mode. So the first one is going to be this, this wall here. So we need to bring this back over to here. So select this also, press GX and snap it to this first edge here. I'm also going to put in an edge loop here to represent this wall thickness. So control R, okay, left click. Okay, what I might do is select these four here, press GX and just straighten these up. Okay, I can alt, alt select this entire edge, press GX and snap it over to that thickness there. And I can do the same thing over here, control R, add an edge loop, I'm just gonna left click, press GX, snap it over to this edge here. Okay, I'm gonna press control R again, add another one, just right click. And again, I'm gonna come to the second position on that wall, so GX, Okay, so we have the wall thickness that you can see behind there. Okay, now the other thing I want to do, if I switch to face selection, this here is going to be a balcony area with an overhanging roof. But for the moment, what I'm going to do is select these faces and press delete. Okay, we're probably going to put a support in the corner somewhere. But for the moment, I'm just going to leave that as it is. I'm going to select this section here, which represent the window, as you can see, the the length of the window is there. I can press P to separate these and choose selection. And I can do the same thing down here. So select these three faces. Actually, I'm gonna to switch to edge selection for a second. Select these edges. I need to come right the way up to this edge here. So GX and snap that up there. Okay, so if I switch back to face, I'm gonna select these three faces, press P and choose selection. Okay, so now if I come back to object mode and press 1, we have basically the outline of the house. There's a little bit more detail to add, but for the moment, that's going to do it for this one.